Hi, I'm Zach Faginson with Miami Today, and I'm here at the Doral headquarters of the Florida Grand Opera for an interview with the opera's general director, Robert Hewer. During our talk, he discussed some of the major changes that have gone on in both the opera and Miami's cultural community during his 25-year tenure as general director and also where the opera is headed in the near future. In 1984-85, um, one of the things that as I started looking at taking over as general director of the company was that in a sense, the opera was just a very short-term company. Mm -hmm. uh, I said to you earlier that the singers might come in for a week or two, sure. perform, they'd come in, they'd rehearse quickly, they'd do a performance and they'd leave. Mm -hmm. So that there wasn't a sense of company, there wasn't a sense of artists working, living as part of the community. And so one of the things that I decided we should do is to create a young artist program there where the young artists or artists would be here for the whole year and give us the it would give us the opportunity to have them interact with school kids mm -hmm. uh, in educational programs and outreach programs and at the same time create I think in the community this sense that the opera was really a living working breathing art form uh, that was an integral part of the community mm -hmm. so that was part of the premise um, there was also the sense that there were a lot of singers uh, and American singers are known for all over the world for being well trained. Uh, they get a lot of uh, uh, they're 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 perhaps the best prepared. They really know their music when they arrive, but they didn't have a lot of opportunities to actually perform. Uh, so uh, many of them would end up going to Europe in order to get the experience of working in some of the German opera houses or some of the Italian uh, houses where they could get the experience of performing. And so one of the goals that I had with this program was to give them lots of opportunities to perform not only on the main stage not doing roles or learning roles but also performing for the community and going out into a club or, and singing for a group of people who might be interested in in the opera or for one of our volunteer organizations uh, I always said that if a singer could actually concentrate and really perform well at a woman's luncheon mm -hmm. they probably were going to do absolutely fine on stage. Uh, so um, that uh, is part of what we did very much with the young artists and, and gave them some of the things they weren't getting in school. Uh, some of the language skills that they need, uh, some of the movement kinds of things in terms of dramatic uh, impact style of uh, given operas, uh, and to then give them the experience that they needed. And I think we take great pride in the fact that not only have we done a good job of preparing singers and giving them a bridge, in a sense, from education to professional, uh, but that we've really developed talent that our community is proud of. I, I love it when a patron will say to me, oh, I remember she was a young artist here a couple of years ago. I'm so happy she's back or he's back to sing on the main stage as a, uh, as a main stage artist. Uh, and it builds those relationships with... Um, uh, with the patrons, with supporters, uh, when they know these singers and they feel a connection to them. Um, we've also, of course, uh, I think in a number of cases, like Elizabeth Caballero, and, and Leah Partridge uh, had r artists who started out in our young artist program and then uh, went on to establish careers and who come back regularly sure. to sing with us. Uh, you know, it's, it's also um, uh, part of the, the, the idea of creating relationship with uh, the, the community mm -hmm. uh, was that in perhaps my early years in the opera world, there really were a number of stars. You had Beverly Sills, you had Joan Sutherland, you had uh, Luciano Pavarotti, Domingo, and, uh, and others who you knew if you had them on your season you could sell pretty much the whole season out. Over the last years, and maybe the last 20 years really, um, there are not the big stars. There are not the Maria Callas's. There are not who not only are they big in the opera community, but are known uh, newsmakers in other ways. Uh, um, and so you need, in some ways, to create your own stars, and that's what we've tried to do with our young artist program: is to create these artists who will establish a career, and our community will feel. Uh, a, a pride in the fact that they 
participated in in establishing their career, giving them the opportunity, and that those singers then feel like this is home, mm -hmm. and I want to come back and sing uh, in Miami.